Good morning, River Heights. How we doing today? Uh, uh oh. Hopefully we're still on. That would be great. Anyway. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. It's a beautiful day. You got to get out. Man, you got to get out. I don't care what you got to do. Get out. Get it out. Enjoy it. The last few days of beautifulness. Although a lot of people like the fall. So 60s are coming. 70s are coming. It's going to be great. Happy and sad week all at the same time. Um, many of you know that my wife and I are planting a church, Refuge Vineyard Church. This is our logo. Um, anyway, and uh, this is my last week at River Heights, and um, it's a bittersweet thing. So I wanted to share some, a scripture and maybe some thoughts. Let me pray for us first. Holy Spirit, we just invite you to come and we just say thank you. Thank you, God, for who you are. God, you're so good. And we just, I just pray that you would just uh, help us seek your heart today and uh, hear your word today. And may you bless us with your word. Uh, here in Jeremiah. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't know who is on. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does because I like to talk to people. But, ah, there we go. Sorry, I'm on my computer, not my phone. My phone, I could see everybody. But my computer's a little different today. So, anyway. Um, yeah, you know, again, it's bittersweet. This is the last week uh, of River Heights. However, um, our ties are still connected big time because um, River Heights is sending us to plant a church, Refuge Vineyard Church. It's been in the works for quite some time. Um, and just a passage, you know, I've just been praying about passages and things like that. And, and, uh, that can really benefit both of us. Um, people that are, are sad that are, we're going. Um, but then also for, for us that are, that are taken off um, to plant this church. And so um, Jeremiah 29, 11 um, is just a staple for me. But it really fits because Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And so that's an amazing passage that simply um, kind of says it all for both of us. He has a plan. Unfortunately, his plans are not always our plans. And um, it can bring sadness. It can bring um, anxiety. It can bring excitement, um, change. So... Um, yeah, because this is not my plan. I can tell you that my plan was to be at River Heights, uh, finish out, um, you know, be here for quite a while and, and be comfortable, I guess, if you will, because I've been in ministry so long and just being comfortable and doing what I know is ministry and being with people and leading them to Jesus that's just who I am and loving on people and but God had other plans and he said I want to take that and I want to use that to love on a different community um, and so you know there's a team of us that are heading down to um, the Rosemount area uh, we'll be in the Rosemount Middle School starting October 9th but you know God had plans he had other plans and when he called us out I just I you can't resist God. I mean, well, you can, but it's not going to go well for you. And we are terrified. We're excited. This is going to be an amazing time. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're super excited about it. And man, you know, I, I love this passage because he has plans. They're not always our plans. Um, 
for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to harm, uh, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. And so, it's so refreshing to know that we are in God's plan. That He, we are. There's a future. There's hope in the future, and He is for us, and He is going to go before us. And uh, this is God's thing not our thing and so i would i would encourage you as you go throughout your day today this week think about your plans and how maybe you know they line up with god's plans you know people pray a lot say god be with me as i do this Um, which is great that's fine you should do that Um, but how about maybe a different train of thought would be god i want to be a part of what you're doing today And show me what that is. Show me what that looks like. That's a different mindset. Because that means that you're surrendering. You're saying, you're not surrendering, you're not giving up on your plan. But you're surrendering to God's plan to say, I have a plan. But I want to be doing what you're doing. So if my plan doesn't line up with your plan, let's do your plan. Because it's probably better than my plan could ever be. And so I had a plan. (laughs) It was to be at River Heights. That was my plan. And, but I I have said from the beginning that my plans are not God's plans. And so whatever God wants, I want to be a part of. And so making us terrified, making us rely on him more um, is just pretty darn amazing. And it's been a really fun ride so far. And I look forward to more and more together. And that's the thing is, we're going to be together. In other words, we're going to do things together. We're going to have worship nights together. We're going to do retreats together. We're going to see each other quite a bit. So it's kind of exciting, actually. We get to double, double our family size. Super excited about that. Um, But at Refuge Vineyard Church, we want people to be able to come we want them to be able to rest. Um, when they come, they can rest, they can renew and, and reach out. Um, there are about 85%, give or take, of the people uh, in a five mile radius around Rosemount that um, don't know God, have fallen away from God, and just flat out don't believe. And so it's it's going to be a daunting task. You know, the Bible says that the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. And so we're just praying, praying for more people to be on our team. We have about 30 people on our team, and we're praying for more, more and more people, so that when we launch in April, uh, on April 2nd of 2023, that's Palm Sunday, that our team is large in charge and ready to rock and roll we are super excited about that so we just we just need your prayers um we just need your prayers as refuge we need your prayers to keep on keeping on more team members to be on our team um that the enemy stays at bay and you know just When you're doing things for the Lord, when you're doing things that God wants you to do, the enemy doesn't want that to happen, so he will attack you in different ways, and so we pray against those. Um, Yeah, it's we're super excited, though. It's going to be a fun, fun ride, a fun ride. It's probably even better than it is now. So remember, God's plans are not always our plans, definitely, and he knows what's best for us. So think about it differently today. That what can I, God, I want to be a part of what you're doing. Surrender yourself to him. Um, And he will show you what he wants you to do. He will. You may not like it. I can tell you that you may not like, you may not like it, but it's going to be so good. It's going to be so great. So guys, I love you. Um, This is my last devotion at River Heights, and I really appreciate you guys, love you guys, 
And uh, hopefully Sunday, this Sunday um, is our send-off Sunday. So I would encourage you to come and be a part of that. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. River Heights is sending us off uh, with prayer. And it's just, oh, I'm so looking forward to that. So um, I just love being prayed for and praying for people. So uh, not that I look forward to leaving. That's not what I look forward to. But I just, I just... It's so fun to be supported by people and by another church and by a church that loves us and cares for us. So I look forward to that. But let me pray for us and then I'm gonna see you out. So God, we just thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for changing maybe our mindset a little bit today um, and helping us see things maybe a different direction and see things differently in our lives. And God, help us to surrender our own plan to your plan. Um, help us to be able to do that. God, may it be, may that transition be in baby steps so that we can, we can handle that. So God, I just thank you for my friends. Thank you for River Heights, what it's meant to me and my family. And whew, God, we just look forward to what you're going to do in the future for us. Because you said um, you have plans not to harm us, but to give us a hope in the future. So, God, we thank you for that promise. God, we thank you. We love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Guys, it was good seeing you. Uh, play hard, but don't play too hard. And we will see you on the flip side.